All right, Hobie, thank you so much. Let's talk to Brian Sherman now about our forecast. It's one of those things where you look at your seven day, Brian, you're like, ooh, yes. the temperatures. Yeah, oh, then you I like say, this. ooh, the thunderstorms. Yeah, it's one of those forecasts where, okay, you're going to need the umbrella for at least a few days, but the temperatures are going to be well above average for the majority of the next seven days. And as you're heading out the door here early this morning, you are going to need to grab the umbrella and hang on to it for most of the day today. Those shower and thunderstorm chances topping my weather headlines for the end of the weekend. We combine that with near record temperatures the next few days before some drier weather returns to the forecast by the time we get to Tuesday. Exact track 40 radar this morning, widespread showers and a few embedded thunderstorms on the radar early this morning. So don't be surprised if you hear a rumble of thunder today, but I do think we dry things out late this afternoon and heading into this evening. Tower cam over in Ann Arbor, rain at the big house early this morning, but definitely a mild start. 64 this morning in Detroit, 62 over in Ann Arbor, 65 this morning in Lapeer and 62 down in Monroe. Rain and those embedded thunderstorms southwest to northeast overnight last night into early this morning, all thanks to a very strong cold front out over the Midwestern United States. Those yellow boxes, tornado watches already in effect from Missouri down into Texas early this morning. No severe weather here, but we will keep those scattered thunderstorm chances around as we head throughout the entire day today. But by three to four o'clock this afternoon, I do think we start to dry things out, save an isolated shower late tonight into the early portions of the overnight. We start the day Monday dry, a mixture of sunshine and clouds. But by the time we get to the afternoon, we start to watch some of those scattered showers and a few embedded thunderstorms develop. That's as the cold front pulls off to the east late tonight, or I should say late Monday night into the early portions of the overnight. But then we dry things out. Cloud cover early Tuesday morning gives way to plenty of sunshine by the time we get to the afternoon. We keep more rain and a few storms into the forecast late Wednesday through the end of the week on Friday before dry weather moves back in looking ahead into the first half of next weekend. So for today, we will keep that umbrella handy for most of the day today. 60s this morning, heading for the 70s by lunchtime on our way into the low 80s by the time we get to this afternoon. Much of the same on Monday at the bus stop. Low 60s, a mild start before we warm things into the 70s. And then those few thunderstorms start to roll in by tomorrow afternoon. We're dry for Tuesday and most of Wednesday. That rain doesn't move in until late before it's a soggy end of the week. Then we cool things down mid 60s and some sunshine moves back in to start next weekend on Saturday. Back out here live on the campus of Wayne State University this morning. The rain falling at a pretty good clip here this morning, but that's not going to stop football happening once again. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. For now, reporting live from downtown Detroit, I'm forward meteorologist Brian Sherman. We'll send it back to you.